shoe shopping for kids. The choices seem endless. Racks and racks and rows and rows of styles, materials, and options. Dress shoes, play shoes, athletic shoes. And once you find the perfect pair, parents know it's probably time to do it again. Yeah, they just grow right out of them. Sarah Sock is a mother of two, including five-year-old Dora. She hopes she's going about it the right way. Mostly um, getting the right size for their feet so their toes aren't smushing. This one I wasn't as fond of because it has a really um, thick sole and it's very hard and rigid. Dr. Noel Larson is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Mayo Clinic. She says the basic goal of kid shoes is simply to protect the foot from trauma in the environment. Beyond that, it's important to do no harm. Particularly in smaller children to pick a very wide shoe um, and with a wide toe box so the toes aren't being crowded in the front of the foot and also to pick a nice flexible sole instead of a hard sole. Dr. Larson says research indicates at any given time nearly a third of children may be wearing shoes that are too small small because they've outgrown them. So I'd say it's better to change the shoes more frequently rather than necessarily investing in a very fancy, um, expensive pair of shoes. If your child's feet seem not to have arches, not to worry. Dr. Larson says up to 20% of kids never will. The rest develop arches by the age of 10 or 12. Back to that do no harm objective. Parental guidance is suggested for teenagers who love high heels. Dr. Larson says girls need to be girls, but ankle sprains, bunions, and toe deformities could be the price to pay. That's one reason not to wear them on a daily basis. Puts a lot of pressure on the ball of the foot, and as you can see, not very many people have a triangular shaped foot. Sarah has a few years before she has to have that debate with Dara. In the meantime, every few months, there's a stop at the shoe store for a new measurement. And pretty much every time, gotta get a new pair. So. <laughs> for the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota.